Hello and welcome back to my let's play of Card Apocalypse. <laughs> it feels really nice to say that. Um, I suppose many of you might not know, but Card Apocalypse was the first really big series I did on my channel, and that was more than a year ago. So I started playing this on October 6 in 2019. And uh, yeah, I recorded, I think, 34 episodes uh, on the main storyline and six more episodes on uh, the bonus modes. Uh, there's a gauntlet mode and a playground mode. So yeah, I've spent a lot of time with this game and now they have released a DLC called Out of Time. Um, so yeah, as the title suggests, it's time travel related and this kind of feels like time travel to me already. Um, because yeah, uh, I think I've said it, I've spent so much time with this game and I really love it. Um, yeah, for those of you who don't know this game at all, um, you could watch my original playthrough. Just be warned, um, the quality of my videos was, was a bit lower back then because I didn't have any experience. Um, I just started recording videos. Um, but it was still fun and they are still online on my channel. Um, I'm gonna put like one of those cards in the top right corner right now so you can check it out if you want. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna tell you the premise. So uh, the type of game, it's like an RPG um, with uh, card battles. So like a trading card game for the battles um, and you play as Jazz um, who goes to a new school and she's a big fan of Mega Mutant Power Pets. So that's kind of the, um, the, the franchise that the trading card game um, is, is based around. And um, yeah, she goes to this new school and then kids start disappearing and strange stuff is happening. And uh, it seems like Power Pets are real. So that's kind of the premise of the original story. And um, yeah, I'm gonna try not to spoil anything, but I mean, I spoiled a little bit already because that's like the first moments of the game I spoiled for you. Sorry for that if you wanted to experience them on your own, mea culpa. But um, yeah, this out of time um, DLC seems to take place in the last days before the final battle from what I've read. So I don't know, maybe there will be spoilers. I can't really tell you yet. I'll um, put a warning in the description if there are any. But um, yeah, in any case, I'm really excited to check this out. So uh, here we go. <laughs> Let's jump into a new game. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna pick the challenge mode. I want a challenge, I start card battles with the same food as my opponent and I cannot skip main storyline battles. Sounds good. Sometime on Friday. You're nothing but a pile of pebbles, precious. No. <laughs> one doggy down, one to go. Come on, Wolfgang, you big loser. <laughs> You're not Wolfgang. I'm Tok, the time traveling champion. I've come from the future to stop you from defeating our glorious leader. Wait, does that mean I win? <laughs> well, yes, but, but that's. I win, I no, win, no, I win. Not if you never get there. What? <clears throat> Not if you never get there. Enjoy your Fridays, Jess, the human. I don't get it. <laughs> Friday, the final countdown. Get your weird orange stuff off of me! Alright, I'm gonna switch to controller. Whoa! Okay, you don't like oranges, I get it. How about I trade you my grape soda for... She was dreaming, you dingus. I was? 
I just had the freakiest dream. What was that you said about trading me your grape soda? Hey, don't call Yolanda a dingus. Um, hey, um, ah, dingus is, could be worse, I guess. <laughs> Let's go with the funny answer. <laughs> it's gonna cost you. I want your fun size caramel spite goo bar. <laughs> Gasp, harsh, yo. Hmm, I'll have to think about it. I really love these character interactions and the writing in general. Um, it's got really great humor and yeah, just overall really great experience. Uh, also, Tok was my favorite champion in uh, the original game, so that's cool to see more Tok action. All right, Ashley. Snore, can you two trade lunches later when I don't have to listen to it? We were just taking, uh, talking about what is the most scariest thing in the whole world. Bacteria! Tiny living things crawling on you! Ugh. No, it's dentists. The sound of the drill. Shudder. There is nothing like an anxious fear before <laughs> a pop quiz. You don't know what you're talking about. It has to be clowns! Bacteria are on me now? Ew! Ashley is right. Dentists are freaking terrifying. Pop quizzes make me want to hurl too, Cedric. I... Uh, didn't you want to be a clown, yo? <laughs> um, yeah, didn't you? Then everyone would fear me. <laughs> hey, shouldn't we be focusing on our plan to stop the power pads and get Jacob back? Well, yeah, but you fell asleep. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna investigate the final place Jacob could have been. Space? The shed, yo. I'm going to investigate the shed. Okay, but we still have some time before we get to school, so wanna play? I mean, we should prepare to get Jacob back, right? Hmm, you're not wrong. I'll play Sam. Wanna play, Ash? How about a game set? Let's go, yo. I mean, yo asked, so let's play with yo. Prepare to battle the amazing Yolanda. Ah! What? What is it? My cards! They're gone! I, I only have a neutral champion? Pfft, there's no such thing as a neutral champion. Then what's this? I am the champion blue. Made of interdimensional goop. I want to join your group. <laughs> Love it instantly. <laughs> Freaky. Oh, it's Bloop. You know, she was in that episode where Poofend went to Mars. What even is Bloop? A mouse? Uh, what even is Bloop? A mouse? Maybe a cat? No one liked her on account of her being small and weak, and so they dropped her from the show. Well, I think she looks badass. I think she looks kind of cool. I guess she looks a little weird, but just a little. <laughs> uh, she looks badass. Welcome to the Bloop fan club. Population, you. Well, I bet I could make her one of the most awesomest champions in the whole game. But I still only have a champion and no minions. I bet we can all come up with enough cards, even just neutrals, so you can still play. Yeah, here, I have some neutrals. I was gonna flick these at Bruce in class, but I guess you can have them. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I got some too! This is so super mega of you, but I'm still a couple of cards short. The amazing Yolanda swoops in to save the day. Here, citizen, have some of my Woofian cards. Yay! You get a bunch of cards from your friends with some extra good cards from Yolanda. Nice. Wow, thanks! Hey, I thought you were a comedian. Yes, but by night I am a superhero. <laughs> but it's not... never mind. Thanks, yo. 
<laughs> yeah, it's not night, I guess. The new neutral champion, Bloop. You just got a new champion, Bloop. The mysterious Goop. Bloop is a neutral champion, which means you can use a mix of cards from every faction in her deck. You can only have one copy of each card in a Bloop deck. Bloop is a pretty weak champion right now. All Bloop can do is create a 2-2 minion when she transforms, but who knows? Maybe you can help her get stronger somehow. Maybe. <laughs> okay then, let's play. Yay, let's edit my deck, I guess. Um, so we have 21 cards, which is basically um, the champion plus the deck. Okay, so we can't change anything here. Okay, then we just play. Let me see. Um, just a quick look at the cards. I mean, I still know all of them. <laughs> I've played them so often, so yeah, I'll be fine. Let's start this battle. Yolanda versus Jess. Let's do this. You mean beat you? Sure. <laughs> oh, the trash talk. How oh, I've missed it. Okay. Um, can't play anything right now, so quick explanation. I grabbed the mouse for that. This down here is the food counter. You need a certain amount of food to play cards. And cards have an attack value down in the left corner here and a health, uh, like health counter in the lower right corner. So um, yeah, basically that's the main things. And they have special abilities like defender, hiding, morph, and all that like special deploy abilities. I um, guess that's the most important stuff. And when I think half of a champion's health is taken off, they do a transform uh, special ability. Uh, like this one only deploys a 2-2 minion and they all get one more attack when they transform. And uh, for example Scrapper uh, has a special ability from the start. Your minions with Defender have plus one health. And uh, when Scrapper transforms um, it uh, gets better. The minions with Defender get plus one plus one. And um, they deploy a 3-3 minion with Defender. Uh, and yeah, defender means that you have to attack these defender minions before you can attack the champion, basically. Or any other minions, I guess. So right now I can only attack. Um, I guess I do that. Um, and then I end my turn. And there is the first defender minion. All right, now I can play a minion of my own, the Invertus, um, Defender 1-3. Um, yeah, sounds good. Same as the Astromat, mostly, um, or totally, but more expensive. Neutral cards typically, typically are more expensive. I'm gonna attack again because I really wanna get rid of that Defender minion. All right, another one. Um, Okay, so we could play a Boneless. Uh, it has lethal, which basically means every time it deals damage, it destroys the minion it has dealt damage to. We could play the Cat Brain Dog with Hiding, which means it's in hiding for one turn and can't be attacked. And we have the Chameleon with Defender and Morph. Uh, morph means that each turn health and um, attack swap their place. Okay, um, I think the boneless is a pretty good card and cat hair is flying around that hasn't changed since when i started recording <laughs> for the first time uh, yeah i think this is good to get rid of some um, defender minions like the inverters so um let's see also the scrapper can't attack my boneless at least not right away okay they play a boneless too i guess it's fine by me for now. Um, okay, and then there are mutations. Mutations are cards you play and there's a trigger condition. And when that trigger condition happens, the mutate um, effect um, happens too. So as soon as one of my minions destroys an enemy minion and survives, um, my minion gains plus three attack. That is if I play this mutation. I could play it and also activate it by using the bonus to defeat the inverters, but I don't think that's uh, ideal. Um, 
there. Well, well what do I play? I think, um, well, the pokey would be bad to play because the bonus can just get rid of it. I guess having a minion that's uh, in hiding seems nice. And using the boneless to get rid of the inverters first, then my bloop can attack the boneless. Yeah, let's do it just to be sure that we can get rid of it. And I play the power cells just because I still have some uh, food left over. All right. Oh, they have mutations too. All right. Okay, um, wouldn't be smart to play the reflector right now um, because it has a deployability uh, which basically says I can swap this minion's attack with an enemy minion's attack but there are none. So I think maybe, um, maybe I'll play the pokey just because it's the most expensive minion I can play right now and I'm gonna keep attacking. Who knew? Who knew? That's rough. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, the rabbit foot might help. Oh no. <laughs> it's not that rough if you have a reflector on hand. <laughs> ah, yeah. This is this is perfect. <laughs> Thanks for the eight attack. Um, it will still take a while to get rid of this minion, but it's gonna be fine. Um, so if I attack with the pokey now, it will get bonus attack. And I guess that's useful. Ma Wait, shouldn't the mutation have uh, been triggered? When one of your O oh, destroys an enemy minion, not just attacks. Okay, for I forgot that. Um, okay, well, let's end this turn. Uh, semi cat it has swarm swarm basically means that their attack is raised by one for each minion they play but only until the end of the turn then it reverts to the original value um, okay I have a really powerful reflector here I also have a nuker what did that one do when your champion is attacked and you have at least one minion gain plus one maximum food that's nice um, but a bit late in the game for that so what do we do? I guess we use the reflector to get rid of the pokey. That will make the reflector even stronger, which is nice. Um, but we'll have to protect it somehow. Mm, but I see options. <laughs> First, let's use the pokey to get rid of this one and now we could use the rabbit foot to defeat the semi cat or we could play the chameleon and something else but I think let's use the rabbit foot and defeat the semi cat because then the swarm can't hurt us and the nuker as well and here we go more attacks and we are done with this turn too uh, that's mean. Hmm, we could almost win, but not quite. Oh, okay, and there's a, hmm, damn, an annoying minion in the way now, so we definitely can't win right now. Hmm. Let me check again. Does it switch at the, at the start of their turn? Okay, that's nice. Still, this is not looking uh, really great. Um, I mean, I can use the reflector to get rid of the Woofian, and I think I might have to. Uh, yeah, well, let's do it. I really have to get rid of the Zapper. That's super annoying, like permanently boosting other minions. All right, here comes my tiny head rat and the lickety. And my bloop will attack the zapper. Okay, done for now. 
Okay, one of them's gone. Okay, I get more food, but I would have been at 10 anyway, and I think 10 is the maximum value. Okay, that's good timing for a tiny dog, because the tiny dog can easily get rid of the spotted ferret. What did the gloodle do at the start of your turn? Gain plus one, plus one. Well, we definitely want to get rid of that as quickly as possible. But first, we get the tiny dog and attack the spotted ferret. Nice, and... Um Well, we definitely play the chameleon and I guess we get rid of this one first. Seems reasonable. Okay, and my bloop, the mysterious gloop, will attack the champion, I think. Um, on the other hand, ah, oh, that's... Mm, I'm not sure. Yeah, champion attack it is. We're so close to winning. <laughs> cat cubed. I used to call it cat squared, but that's obviously wrong. <laughs> um, I think I won. 11 damage needed. 11 damage I got. Okay, we get the 2-2 two -two minion. What kind of minion is it? Just a minion. <laughs> okay. Um, chameleon. You can do the killing blow. Yay! First match won. Oh, yes! Eh, I had fun. <laughs> That's nice. Ah, I've missed this. <laughs> I can't just sit here and watch you play with those cruddy cards. You'll need more power than that to beat kids in school. Ashley and I can spare an extra card each. Why me? <laughs> Because girl power! Come on, Ashley! Girl power! Girl power! I'll give up a card if you stop saying that. <laughs> okay, we got strike action and fatted ferret. Strike action is a mutation. At the start of your turn, if you have fewer minions than your enemy, deploy a 1-1 minion with lethal and charge. That's actually a super useful mutation. And a fatted ferret. Defender with revenge, deploy a 4-1 minion. Uh, revenge happens when your minion is defeated. Basically, it triggers uh, as soon as your minion dies. So as soon as the fatted ferret is defeated, it deploys another 4-1 minion. Okay. Oh, thanks. You rock. Look, uh, looks like we're here. Guess I'm gonna. I guess I'm going straight for the shed. All right. Here we are, going straight for the shed. That dream I had on the bus was kind of freaky. I don't like this. I feel like something's not right. All right, Jess, focus. All I gotta do is check out the shed. No big deal. Or is it? <laughs> hey there. Well, it's about time. Tuck, what are you doing here? You're not the sharpest tool in the shed, are you, Jess the human? Hey, I am too, and I'm gonna carve you up right now. Whoa. <laughs> you think you can beat me? I am the master of time and controller of eras. The speaker of too many words? Well, if you're sick of dealing with me... How about we see how you do against my friend from the future? Rex Machina? Where are they? Where are they? I'll get him. I'll get him. I'll get him good. Rough. Calm down, Rex. You can crush her all you like. She's all yours. Crush. Destroy. Annihilate. Rough. You can try, puppy. Um, let's edit the deck first, because we um, haven't put in the fatted ferret yet. So let's see, I'm gonna use the mouse for this, I think. As far as I remember, it's easier using the mouse for stuff like that. Um, so I would like to put the strike action in, that's for sure. Um, uh, okay... 
This one did help me out quite a bit this time, the tiny dog, but you gotta be really lucky for it to pay off. So I think I'm gonna switch this one, one cost card for the strike action. And um, the fatted ferret four cost card. Um, maybe I just remove the spotted ferret for that. That sounds reasonable enough. Okay, good enough. Let's start the battle. Oh yes, human going down, rough. Tee hee. Whoa, my bloop is talking. Did you hear something? <laughs> All my bloop is moving on my cart, so that's new, I think. Um, yeah, well, we can't do much, sadly. So, uh, wait, let's first check out what this champion does. Uh, when you reveal a face down mutation, gain plus one attack until the end of your turn. And the uh, transform ability is, or like permanent ability then, is when you reveal a face down mutation, your minions gain plus one plus one. And on transform, play a random mutation from your deck. Okay. Rough. <laughs> So I guess we just attack. What else can we do? Okay, we can play the power cells. That's something. And they couldn't play anything either, so that's nice. It seems... oh, they have a defender now. Hmm. Okay, we could play a defender too, or a shadow cat with charge and hiding. Um... I think I would like to play the chameleon. Yes. Ah, damn. I was hoping for the... Oh, it still works out. I was hoping for the inverters to attack my chameleon and die, but, well, that didn't happen, sadly. In any case, we can um, get through this without losing too many minions by yeah I think um, oh enemy mutations cost one more that will come in quite handy so yeah I think I'm gonna play the shadow cat and use my bloop and the shadow cat to get rid of the inverters so uh, the shadow cats should survive that but the inverters is gone and then we still have the chameleon to get rid of that super annoying zapper and uh, my enemy's mutation triggered, or was it? No, it was mine. Oh yeah, my chameleon is boosted, right. I had a mutation too. Almost forgot. Well, I actually did forget. But here's the Easter Bunny, making enemy mutations more expensive. We have a defender, and if they survive, they will be a 1-6 defender for the next turn. That's quite useful, actually. So let's see. It's either a lot of damage which it is so that's good too okay cat brain dog we can get rid of that astromod without much hassle um, okay I think um, yeah I'll play this defender that should survive the cat brain dog which is nice and the semi cat uh, I think it's good to get swarm minions out early. I think I want to keep the Easter Bunny alive and around for a while longer because I like the passive ability. Yeah, let's let's save their fighting capabilities for later. Okay, I'm done with this turn, I think. If you have a face down mutation, gain plus one plus one, which is what happened, but that's all right, I guess. This is not too great, um, but we can play two minions, which, uh, yeah, should give us the ability of getting through somehow in a way. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Boneless two. Okay, now we can do this um, somehow. <laughs> Let me think about it a bit. Um, 
Yeah, if we use the Easter Bunny, the Shadow Cat and the Bloop to get rid of the Hot Dog, then at least the Easter Bunny survives and then we can use the Semi Cat to defeat the Pointer. I guess that's good enough for now. So yeah, uh, I think I've uh, told you that I like the, the writing of the game and the story and all that, but I also really like the gameplay. It's really well done. Uh, I like the, the card synergies and uh, if you think about what you're gonna do, you can, uh, yeah, even with not too great cards, make good decisions and win the battles. So that's really nice. All right. Uh, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna win this, but I hope. Uh, good that you don't have any minions. Um, bad that you are mega now. That is always annoying. I guess we use the boneless to get rid of the Nasher. Then we can attack with the cat cubed. Uh, we could also attack with the blue, but now it would hurt us more than it would hurt them, so I guess we don't do that. Um, although it would also speed things up, which might be something we want. So let's do it. Let's speed things up. <laughs> okay, that's not good. But I think we can win now. Even have a reflector, which is super nice, <laughs> um, but not really necessary, but still gonna play it, I mean. But we can deal 10 damage and that's all we need. <sighs> nice. Game done? Finished? Treat? Rough. <laughs> Yay! Okay, that time I know I heard something. <laughs> Jess wins. In your face, doggy! Bye bye. Ah. Now it's your turn. Oh, I think I need to go back and reevaluate things a little first. No, uh, no way. We are fighting, right? What is going on? I feel funny. That's cheating. <laughs> what the heck? Where am I? Talk, you better bring me back now or face my wrath. Ooh, sweet cards. <laughs> You grab some cards floating in the void. Ooh, I think these are new cards. I haven't seen these before, at least I don't remember them. We have a Gecko. <laughs> Has attack always equal to double your champion's attack. That's nice. Bony Coney, hiding and swarm. Bonkers, when you reveal a face down mutation, give an enemy minion minus two attack. Okay, and a neut neutral neutralizer <laughs> okay uh, hiding and deploy all enemy minions lose lethal ambush hiding and swarm that's really cool all right nice stuff hey there hi there jazz ah whoops i didn't mean to scare the goo out of you tee -hee. you're you're i'm bloop your champion all right then, I'm ready. I'm gonna totally crush you into the dust. What do you want? You! I heard you while I was fighting Rex. Yeah, I did. Yup, tee I wanted to come into your world and help, but I was too weak. You wanted to help, but you're a champion. The other power pets treat me like space trash. Tok gave me to you as a joke because I'm the worst champion. Wow, and I thought Bruce was bad. But you said I was cool and awesome. You said I could be the best champion. Oh, yeah, I did. It was no big deal. 
It was a huge, enormous deal. It's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. Really? You're welcome, I guess. You are as sweet as caramel candy rolled in sugar with hot fudge sauce on top. My teeth hurt just hearing that. <laughs> so what can I do to help you beat that time-hopping rat hat? You could come with me to beat talk. How about you stay here and try to come up with a plan? Wish me luck. <laughs> yeah, come with me to beat talk. I don't think I'm powerful enough to transport myself into your reality like Tok can. I exist outside space and time. I also might be space and time, but it's hard to tell. T. Whoa. <laughs> I will do whatever I can to help you beat him. As soon as I figure out what that is. Whoa, what's happening? No! <laughs> I hope you can't hear my stomach grumbling, but if you can, sorry, um, I guess I gotta eat after I'm done with this, but I was just too excited. I needed to play this. <laughs> okay, choose a new base antenna ability. Um, igniters, your minions have plus one attack during your turn. Deflectors, at the end of your turn, your minions heal two. Intercepts, your champion has plus one attack during your turn. Um, hmm. In my original playthrough I used to play more of a charge based deck, so quickly dashing out damage, so to do that the igniters would be a good thing. Um, I think healing is also pretty cool, would be super nice with strong minions with lots of health, because then they just stick around and can't be taken off the board um, but I think I'm just gonna go for the igniters having more attack during my turn should speed things up and I like quick battles so let's do that oh we can see what it looks like too mm -hmm. I like flames so I think I'm gonna stick with my decision here and uh, use the igniters all right, um, last chance to change our mind. Healing or more attack, that's the, the two things I'm kind of um, switching between. Um, uh, more attack it is. Okay, have, do I just have to close it now? I think I have. All right. Yes, they are. <laughs> All right. I think there's a cat hair somewhere. Friday. Deja vu. Uh, I think there's a cat hair somehow stuck on my glasses or I don't know. It seems like yes. <laughs> cats. Bloop! Help me! My name is Yolanda, but okay. <laughs> she was dreaming, you dingus. Oh no. Oh yeah, you fell asleep. You were snoring and everything. Quick, what were you guys just talking about? We were talking about what the scariest thing in the whole world is. Bacteria. Tiny living things crawling on you. Ugh. No, it's dentists. The sound of the drill. Shudder. You don't know what you're talking about. It has to be clowns. Nah, it's definitely a pop quiz. Ah! 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 <laughs> um, let's go with medium R. <laughs> Geese, calm down. Or is it G's? I never... Never rem remember to look up how it's pronounced. Geese or G's? I think G's. G's, calm down. I know this stuff is scary, but... Tok reset it. The day. He put me back. Oh, I know Tok. He's the time travel champion, right? He's trapped me in a time loop. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm gonna steal that one for my stand-up. I'm not kidding. 
Whatever you say. You guys have to believe me! Would you believe me if I said I travel through time? Yes! Maybe? I guess not. Um, an honest maybe. What proof would you need? To see it with my own eyes. Exactly. I don't think time travel is possible. Wanna bet? Hmm, maybe I'll do some research in the library. Do you guys know how talk is defeated in the show? I always skip the talk episodes. Time travel makes my head hurt. Same, I hear Nebraska has a huge collection of old Mega Mutant Power magazines. She might have that one with the profile on talk. Alright, thanks Ash. Hey, so we still have some time before we get to school, so wanna play? Sure, let's play. I got some new cards from Blue, uh, a friend that I want to try out. I'll play Sam. Wanna play Ash? Uh, what a game set. Or you. Um, let's play with Sam. I think Sam was kind of my best friend on the original playthrough. So let's play against Sam. Alright, I'm ready. Okay then, let's play. Um, first we should edit our deck because the new cards aren't in yet. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna pick up the mouse again. So we have the neuter neutralizer, um, four cost minion. We don't have a neutral four cost minion. Maybe, uh, I don't know. What do we take out? Maybe the cat brain dog. Okay, neutralizer goes in. Um, what else do we have? The bonkers. Um, mutation based card. And uh, the bony coney hiding and swarm. Um, hmm. And the gecko. The Gecko would be a pretty nice synergy with uh, the uh, third option to boost our champion's uh, attack. This would already be a 4-3 minion uh, with a 2 attack on my champion and then when I go Mega it would be even more, like 6-3. But it's just one minion so I think our decision is still okay. <laughs> still the Gecko is a good card. Um, I think I'm gonna take out the Semi-Cat for the Gecko. Um, the bonkers is also pretty cool. Um, not sure what to take out though. Maybe the cat cubed might be nice to have cheaper minions and the cat cubed is not too amazing. And the bony coney. Hmm. What could I take out for that? I guess I could take out the inverters. Eh, let's do it and see how it goes. We can always retry if we fail. So here we go. I mean, probably this battle we can't actually retry because when we play against our friends, it's not a story, uh, no, not a battle important for the story, but um, it's also not a battle we necessarily need to win. So I guess it's fine. You ready to lose? Um, he's playing the Pipsqueaks, which was my favorite faction originally. You ready to lose? No. <laughs> and once again we don't have a good starting card hand um uh, starting hand i guess in general not starting card hand um but we drew a good card the bony coney perfect let's check the half force your minions with swarm have plus one health your minions with swarm have plus one plus one when it's mega and on transform deploy two zero one minions with swarm which are then actually one two minions with swarm Okay, um, let's see if we can deal with that. Mutation time and blood spore. When your champion attack, attacks, deploy two, one, one minions. Great, um, not ideal to say the least. 
now I have to decide use my bony coney now to get rid of the hair force and uh, not get rid of it but def like deal at least two damage to the hair force or let it be defeated by the pipsqueak next turn I think I'll choose the damage so here we go all right uh, snowball yeah uh, another feature of the game you can or you could customize your cards. Uh, sorry, I was distracted. A cat is on the move. I guess he's hungry. Um, so yeah, you could customize your cards with stickers and for this card only the name was changed and it was changed to Snowball. But you could also like put uh, additional attack and additional health on your cards and other abilities. So that was pretty cool as well. All right, um, time to play the chameleon, I guess. And time to say hello to one annoying cat who wants to sit down behind the camera, but that's uh, not okay. Please uh, go to your cat bed. <laughs> dip dip. I, I get the message, you're hungry and I will feed you in a second, but uh, give me some time. All right, um, the comedian should be enough to defeat the snowball, so I'll just attack the hair force. And the turn, okay. Oh no, uh, the chameleon switched because it switches on the end of the turn. Damn, I uh, didn't remember that correctly, but it will be all right, I think. So let's attack with the bloop against the snowball this time. And the pokey seems like a good defense against the semi-cat. All right, turns over. Hungry for two food. Um, we might. <laughs> might want that uh, minion to stick around and there's the cat again moving um, and I have to push him along because otherwise he will lie down behind the camera and kick it around and I don't want that um, okay um, hungry means uh, that my enemy now has two less food each turn as long as that minion is around so I actually don't necessarily want to defeat it right now but I don't want the boneless to stick around. Um, so I play the fatted ferret because that's a pretty nice defense I think and I'll put one damage already on the boneless so that's nice and I'll attack with my pokey. Sadly that means that my enemy now gets a lot of minions um, but maybe we'll find a way to do that. Um, this strike action should come in handy. All right, another turn completed. Uh, and Sam played Luke. That pipsqueak got rid of my pokey and the guinea pig is done for. All right, um, I have less minions. That's why I get this lethal sinister minion. And Luke is a bit annoying. Deal damage to the enemy champion equal to this minion's attack. So that's a bit mean, but um, it's gonna be fine, I think. I'm gonna attack Luke with my bloop. Yeah, that hurt, but I can play a defender minion and the gecko and I think that should be cool. Keep the sinister around for a while longer. Maybe they'll have a minion with lots of health and then I can get rid of it. Okay, pipsqueak is gone. How much damage do I have? 7, 9, 11. Huh enough I think because I also have the rabbit foot all right five damage only five health left and we got this nice <laughs> I guess the most important thing is that I did my best the most important thing is that I won <laughs> all right Hey, I found a few extra stickers you can use on your... You can use to name minions. Uh, okay, you want them? No? Yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, three rename stickers. Um, I think I've never used them because 
that would require me to get creative and getting creative while recording is uh, not ideal because it takes time and you would only watch me thinking about names. Uh, hey, why aren't we talking about how we're going to get Jacob back? First, I gotta get out of this time loop. <laughs> Stop it, you're killing me! Okay. So I guess I'm gonna head back into the shed now or talk to... I don't know, who had that old the, those old magazines? I don't know. Alright, everything is okay. I just gotta stay calm and use my head. I can go ask Sam about those time travel books he's been reading. Or I can ask Nebraska for her copy of the Mega Mutant Power issue about talk. I can totally handle this. Do some investigating and find a way to defeat talk. Talk to Sam in the library about time travel. Talk to Nebraska in Mr. Kensington's room about talk. Okay. Um, I think if we have to decide, which I'm not sure we do, um, then talking to Nebraska would be more on point because, well, books about time travel, there's lots and lots of theories about time travel. Um, just talking about talk seems like uh, more of the right direction. So let's go into the school and uh, look for Nebraska. Oh, we can have uh, like hallway battles now. That's cool. Okay, maybe we don't do the main quest today because I want to do some of these hallway battles or preferably all of them before I continue uh, the main storyline. What's your favorite kind of music? Music, huh? I rock out. I like something I can dance to. I think pop is the best. I kind of like country music. Hmm. It's either rock or something I can dance to. Um, let's go with something I can dance to. I dance too. I nod my head and step side to side. <laughs> I like to spin around as fast as I can and then do wheelies. But sometimes that doesn't go well. <laughs> um, I thought it showed a card. I thought I could do a card battle. Oh damn, it was just a conversation. Ah uh, yeah, it's uh, just the conversation icon that looks like a card. Sorry, nose is itching, cat hair. You know the story. <laughs> Operation Presidential Mustachiation was a success. Now what? If I'm stuck here, I should try to have fun. <laughs> Ooh, you could make a word search for Mr. Velasco. But the words in the list aren't in the puzzle. Dude, he will never stop looking. This will be so mega. <laughs> All right, uh, let's talk to Miss Sugar. Oh, look at you. You're such a trooper, an inspiration, a little fighter. Okay, I'm just gonna leave now. Weirdo. <laughs> yes, yes, you are, Miss Sugar. You're a weirdo. <laughs> hey, Hannah. Hey, Missy. Do you have a hall pass? No. Then you're going to have to come with me. Ugh, I don't have time for this. Literally. <laughs> Bye. Okay, we can go to the cafeteria, it seems. Ooh, yeah, we can play cards, actually, against Ashley and against Cedric, I think. Hey, Chris. So I asked my mom if we could get a cat, but she's allergic. Maybe she should stay in the shed? Uh, she could stay in the shed. That's what I said. But my mom doesn't like the shed. <laughs> All right. Hey, janitor. Why do you think life is like this? I don't know. Neither do I, kid. Neither do I. <laughs> hey, Zack. I'm not giving you cards, Zack. <laughs> oh yeah, Zack was always asking for cards. <laughs> How did you know I was going to say that? 
You must be a time traveler from the future. Uh, seriously? <laughs> uh, Elvin. You are wrong. About what? Something about your soul is severed. <laughs> okay, yeah, this repeats. Okay. Dark Elvin. Guess let's go in here. Hmm, I think that's Nebraska or... Oh, yes, it is. So we have to do a card battle against them, maybe, or I don't know. Um, first, definitely, let's check out the hallway stuff. Um, so there were card battles, so let's battle Ashley. Did you hear that kid drew wa that kid drew won a bunch of tickets to see High School Haunting 2, Jim Graveyard. Ooh, spooky. I wish I was going. I need to see the High School Haunting sequel, Jazz. Neat. I need to. You. you have to do something. Come on. Everyone likes you. You're the nice new kid. I got Power Pets banned on my first day here. Okay, okay. But you're still more popular than me. So please do something. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Go to Mr. Velasco's room and ask Drew for a ticket. Okay, we got side quests. So it wasn't a card battle. I won card battles. Hey, Cedric. What's wrong, Sad? They're going to cancel the mini UN. What's a mini UN? It's the mini United Nations! Each kid represents a real country and makes decisions like a leader. It was my idea to set one up. Now they're going to cancel it, cause Canada got the chicken pox. Why aren't you Canada set? You are Canadian, right? Countries were assigned to us at random. Not that it matters anymore, since they're going to cancel the... Wait, you could help me! Me? Oh no, you're not roping me into this. Please, Jazz, you could save the mini UN. Fine, I'll help. Nuh uh, no way. Okay. Yes, you are mega! Let's go, the meeting is in the gym. Okay. Guess we go there right away then. Huh. <sighs> Oh, damn. Oh, there's Bruce. Bruce is uh, the mean kid. <laughs> okay, uh, I hope we make the right decisions here. We'll probably have to make decisions. Jess, you came! Well, you dragged me with you. Mr. Leroy, I got us a Canada. Great, I'm jumping for joy. Now let's get this over with. Delegates, it is my job to welcome the new delegate from Canada to our mini UN. Hi, I. Konnichiwa, Canada. Hey, hey I'm Japan. Alrighty, what issue do the delegates want to address this se uh, this session? I want to take over Mexico. <laughs> we need to deal with my zombie outbreak. Who gets the moon, Mr. Leroy? You never said. To speed this thing up, why don't we let our new delegate choose? Russia is declaring, declaring war on Mexico? We should probably do something about the zombie outbreak. Canada should get the moon. <laughs> Um, yes, maybe, but um, let's talk about Russia declaring, declaring war on Mexico. I mean, zombie outbreak sounds pretty serious too, but um, what's this about? This sounds like a typical UN topic and uh, um, maybe that's something we should talk about. Russia is so cold, I need a vacation spot. Plus, I have a giant army, so I'm taking Mexico. 
Mr. Leroy. This is so unfair. Yeah. Welcome to politics, kiddo. <laughs> I agree with Ruth. This is unfair. The USA will protect Mexico. Oh. Really? <gasps> Jess, please help. If the USA and Canada protect me, there's no way Russia can win. Are you going to stand with me or let little Ruthie get crushed? No way I'm siding with you, Bruce. Russia can have Mexico. <laughs> I will uh, help Bruce protect Mexico. Yes, I will. Yay! Haha! <laughs> In your face, Billy B! How does it feel to be a big cold loser country, comrade? Yeah. <laughs> now I can be now I can be the one to take over Mexico. Yeah. Wait, what? Typical Bruce. The USA is victorious once again. <sighs> Thanks for trying to help me out, Jazz. This is for you. Ooh, choose your rewards. Devourer, this minion's attack is equal to your available food. And Hypnosified, a mutation when an enemy minion is deployed, gain control of that minion until the end of your turn. That can be super useful. Um, or Corrodent, Defender, enemy minions cost one more. And a Capacitor, when your champion's health is less than the enemy champion's health, your champion gains Ambush. I'll go with the left side. Um, I like both of those cards, so cool stuff. All right, uh, thanks I guess. Congratulations delegates on another successful session of the Mini UN. Uh, to think that children are our future really makes you think. As chair of the Mini UN, I adjourn the session so I can go get lunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks for being Canada, Jess. It was nothing. It was mega. Thanks for helping out. You're welcome. <sighs> All right. Um, first side quest done. Um, and we are almost at one hour and oh, we are almost above one hour I realize and yeah the cats are getting really hungry and um, I think they won't let me record any longer so this was part one of um, I forgot the, the, the name of um, the DLC out of time. <laughs> this was the end or is the end of the um, first episode of Cardpocalypse out of time. Yeah, not gonna cut this. You can know that I sometimes forget the most obvious stuff. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. Um, this is super cool getting back into this. I am really happy with this. Uh, the game was just released on Steam um, before it was only available on the Epic Store. And I think it's also available for the Nintendo Switch and on iOS. So lots of platforms you can play it on. And I suggest you do because it's a lot of fun. And um, yeah, as I've said, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and also hitting the notification button. If you didn't like it, you can leave a thumbs down. That's okay too. Um, and if you have anything to tell me, be it good or bad or neutral, <laughs> then please do so in the comment section. That would be awesome. I always like talking about uh, the things I... Uh, talk to myself during the let's play with you though that's uh, definitely more interesting and um, yeah I guess that's uh, almost all you could also follow me on twitch and twitter that would be cool and um, yeah that's uh, that's all then so yeah thanks for watching and hopefully see you again next time until then take care bye